Hello everyone, I am Pepperdirt. I have another video on uh, DOS scripting. Now, I had a comment on my page about error level, so I'll actually be taking this time to explain what I know of this variable in DOS. Now, error level is special in that it's actually a return code. Programmers use this uh, to tell the user you know if how their program ran you know say there was an error and this is what this number what this error code return code will tell you about that program uh, in the most general terms uh, zero uh, zero is good good and one or any anything but zero is bad now again this just tells us what happened uh, as a programmer you you would set these variables yeah well exactly for that reason to let us know what what happened now an example of that you, you can uh, actually see what error level has contained in it by echoing out error level. Right now it's set to 909. Uh, I can't say what this number actually correlates to, but you know it's not good because it's not a zero. So our previous command must have set error level, uh, which is this zero equals good. Uh, now not all commands set error level which is a which is a you don't always want to use error level in a script because sometimes there's funny things that might happen and I'll actually get into a example script here and maybe get to posting it online uh, how you would set error level back to normal the CD command will set it Now, you may ask, why not just set error level back to zero? Now, see, DOS lets you do that, but in doing so, you make it one of your local variables, and that will actually overwrite the function of error level. So, error level still working. It's still you know contains whatever value it contains but when we echo out error level all we see is our local variable now see in our previous example this would set error level to 909 but it's still set to zero so uh, though you can set a you can set error level in your scripts just know that you have to release error level after your script is done or at the start of a script every script if you decide to that you want to start setting error level uh, notice if you say set equals nothing that releases error level and it's no longer ours and as noted before it actually did set error level but we just could not see it uh, pretty cool. Uh, things to note while scripting. Uh, I think I can actually get to our script now. That's pretty much what you need to know. It is a return code, and special care needs to take be taken while using it or editing. So again, like, oh yeah, let's see. let's go to our script, and like. I was trying to note earlier set does not uh, call set error level on exit so set dash a v equals 23 that's a valid command but error level doesn't care it was it was not informed that set worked see this is another problem while scripting you need to know what commands will set error level what commands will not? 
Um, like I noted, the CD command does set it. And you can test this out with any uh, function you want. So, dir command, let's see if that sets it. Uh, it does. So you can just as easily do dir null, and that would set error level. All right, let's go to our script. Uh, I already made this one. Oh, uh, it was called set. Okay. I, I I'm trying to make uh, my scripts a little more pretty, you know, visually pleasing. So, you know, the users, well, anybody can read them, know what's happening. Even if you're not completely familiar with uh, all commands in DOS. So, return to... This is just... Oh, this is obsolete. Sorry. That might be the... I think that's the subject of the next video. Let's uh, start by setting our variables. Set V. Uh, start a script. So, what this is actually doing is echoing out a command and then the command is actually being executed. Uh, the reason for this is so that we can see what's happening from the command line. That's the only reason I made this script. You know, it just echoes out error level, then echoes out our variable. Then it goes to another set statement. Set dash a v equals fat. And then it actually executes it. Then it echoes back error level, and then it echoes back our variable. And it does this for a few times. Uh, echoes out, actually sets, and then error level. Alright, so let me show you the script as it's being ran. Oh, that's weird. That's not my... Okay. Notice this command is ooh this command does not set error level as noted and actually this command has internal internal functionality to accept errors now notice it could have just um, you know thrown error level and error or something but it handled this internally and just set v equal to zero because it could not do anything with its uh with our input you know its uh, logic said okay just set any strange input to zero all right let's go to the next one same thing it could not handle our input so it set to set it to zero as programmers you'll probably uh, use this logic in your own programs you know if the user gives me something garbage then I've got to handle it some way do I throw an error crash the program and say oh nothing nothing could be done or do I just say oh well I'll just set a default value the script will still run or my program will still run but it'll just be hindered by the errors response and now it actually set error level because of a missing operand. I did say set doesn't set error level. However, for some, this is actually because of our script. Uh, notice, notice uh, this will actually no, it won't work. Okay, missing operand. So that's good. Error level does get called sometimes in a uh, in a set command. Hmm. And that's only because it wants you to say something like uh, v equals one plus two plus two because that is a valid statement. Alright, door. Alright, so pretty simple stuff here. Error level set. And in that, you can use that in your program, you know, if 
error level. Uh, equals zero, then, you know, do whatever we need to do. Alright, so let's go back to our script again. Uh, set. Alright, but notice our second statement, 3 plus F, it was handled just fine by setting V equal to 3. It just disregarded our plus F. Now see, sometimes programs, again, can take input and just, you know, do what it has to do to keep continuing. So our program doesn't crash. So again, this is sets internal handling of uh, bad input. Again, error level was not set because everything went fine. Set was able to handle what was given to us. All right, but error level was not set. So if we were checking in our program, if error level is not zero, then do something. If it's zero, do something. Then we would we would have to set error level before uh, well this statement. All right, and again, go to that. Oh, a valid statement, amazing. Well, an invalid, zero, valid, and it actually equals one. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much a good summary of what error level does. Of course, in our program script, after the after this statement, we would want to uh, CD no. So error level is set back to zero, and you would actually do that after every command. So now after the error level set, it would set it back. And at the start of a program, we would probably want to set error level, or sorry, not error level, but set. What was I setting again? V, no. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I know what I'm doing here. Hi. Oh, well. Yeah, you get the idea. So, that's my explanation on error level internal handling of programs. Um, like I said, if you wanted to use error level, you can use it. And these, this will pretty much tell you how you need to go about using it. So just be careful while using. Oh, that's right. Set error level. Notepad. Ooh, what's that thing called again? Uh, I can't set error level. What was I doing? Set null. Setting error level effectively. Weird. So then after every statement, you could say CD null. And then our set would act exactly how it's supposed to. All right. So if you want to use error level, uh, have at it. Just be careful. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, post them in the comment or PM me. But I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, subscribe uh, plus me you know whatever you want to do thanks for watching uh, and thank you for the comments God bless you guys and uh, maybe see you next time pepper dirt is signing out here.